I'm hungry. I'm cold. Uh, can you get me another blanket? Why won't you give me a ride everywhere? Uh, does that sound familiar? Let's talk about whining and how to not do it so that we can be more happy. My eyes are red. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about bucking up. Let's Buck talk about, um, you know, not moaning, not whining. You know, what if life, just like Jack Nicholson says, in as good as it gets, what if this really is as good as, as, it, good gets. as it gets? Yeah. Because sometimes life is that way. We, you know, we, we work, we strive, we pray, we cry, we do all we can to fix things. And sometimes things just aren't going to get fixed. Yeah, they're not going to go your way. Not always. Yeah. So, really, what's the point of moaning and crying and whining and being a jerk? Uh, if things are going to suck anyway, and sometimes they just will, then why not choose happiness? Do you ever know someone, my wife has, has a person in mind who just never... I'll look. You look at them. I'll be... Ne- I'm driving. <laughs> See, she, we're, he's we're like okay my wife. Right. She's checking out. I got yeah. it. You look here. <laughs> Bad habit. Both of our heads. So you know, you know, someone who is always, always happy to the point where it bugs you. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like yeah. how could how could they really be that yeah. happy? Are they always happy? Yeah. It's like there's nothing that can go wrong in this person's life. So you are okay if you whine just. A little bit, I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm, I'm saying, you know, but once it starts to just be a way that you are, right? Oh, people just don't want to be around you. Pervasive and, complaining. Yeah. I mean, there's an initial phase in which you recognize the suckitude. Yes. And so you might vocalize it, verbalize it, write it down, talk about it, complain about it for a moment. But really, once the recognition of this difficulty or challenge or just lame situation that you're in, is complete, then be done recognizing it and be done sharing that recognition yeah. with all the yeah. people around you. Move on. I mean, yeah, there, I mean, you, you all know people out there who had something go wrong three years ago and they're still talking, still talking about, about, it. about it. And you can, you can tell at a, a family function or whatever, you know exactly what sentence is going to trigger that person to bring up and dig up the past of this ir- this injustice that they suffered yes. and and you're like the worst the gosh. world against them yeah you need therapy you need professional help yeah. to get over this already it's that's at the point at which people start to accuse you of being paranoid because you can't seem to let go of the fact that someone did you wrong mm-hmm. someone harmed you in some way and you know, you think that there's a conspiracy about it, that everyone's against you. It's because you keep harping on it and harping on it and complaining about it. Once you recognize, move past it and just deal with it. Yeah. And you don't have to be this toxic element that invades and infests and poisons everyone else around you. You know, really only let the people know that matter most to you and that are directly affected by it so that you have their support. Yeah. We've talked about friends and family. Mm-hmm. Those people are there to help make you happy or to help you continue to be happy even in spite of the difficulty that you might be facing yeah. at that time. Yeah. But the, other, the, the real um, sort of uh, uh, challenge with this and kind of the, the, the main offenders, I guess, that take it too far are the ones that not only wind up and, and don't let it go, but that actually turn uh, violent, mean, rude, mm-hmm. offensive, vulgar, loud, kind of hotheads. Yeah. They've moved past whining and they're into full-on anger. aggression yeah. and anger against other people. Yeah. Um, and and they, they're out there. They exist. I think all of us probably at one point or other, and here we are in a car, we've talked about road rage before, we've talked about aggressive driving, mm-hmm. about making signals at other people, about carrying on this this sort of inner, this monologue or inner dialogue with yourself in your car, and you're talking to the guy in front of you, come on, what are you doing? What's the matter with you? They can't hear you. They don't care about you. They're probably not looking in the rearview mirror at you. It only, it only feeds 
the yeah. negative energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. And I, I, I've got people just running through my mind, which might be a good segue into or let's talk who about some our, of the chronic sort of our top three angry for this episode people or whiny hot people, heads, hot heads that need help or anger management. Yeah, you know, who's your third? So I'd say my third is uh, the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> you know, okay. on a light note, let's talk about something that's not real, but right, he was, you know, now don't make me come in here before I start cracking skulls, you What's know. Was that Ferris Bueller or was that Breakfast Club? Oh, you know what it is. I'm sorry, it was Breakfast Club. Yeah, so my Breakfast bad. Club it's the principal from the Breakfast Club movie. Yeah. Yeah. Grab some wood, bub. Yeah. yeah everything. Yeah. Is... It wasn't Rooney. Rooney no. was the guy from Bueller. Okay. Right. It's the other guy. Not All right. Rooney. My anyway. number. Th- my number three is Tiger Woods. Oh yeah. Uh, for Jeez. as lovable and sweet and nice and great as he can be and has been, but certainly he hasn't been in a long time. He was also and still is just one of the biggest babies in the sport of golf. Yeah. He's out there. Come on, have a little perspective. You're getting paid a million dollars to lose. Yeah. Even if you don't win. You're walking on a beautiful day. It's sunny with grass. People are carrying your clubs for you. And you're going to, you know, swear and cuss and yell because your putt went a little long. And yeah. It goes with any golfer. You know, just kind of watch your language. Keep it in. Suck it up and deal with it. it, It's a a first world problem. Yeah, yeah. Number two for you. So number two for me is Hillary. Clinton. Hillary Clinton. All right. I'm sorry if I offend you Hillary Clinton voters out there, but come on. Ever since she lost the election, it's just been this whiny. And, you know, I'm not just picking on her, but most politicians, when they lose... They can't leave the losing alone. Right. right? You got to write a book on why, why I lost. lost. You know, right. it's just move on and do something yeah. else. Why do I want to read about your ills and your, your uh, well, disappointments? In case I want to run again. Or, yeah, I got to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's In case it's the gonna, Russians really were rigging yeah, it. And it's yeah. going to help my $25,000 per gig well, that's the speaking appointments fee. if I have a book to give to <laughs> right, people. So that's my number two. My number two, uh, Hothead Weiner. Uh, Bobby Knight, <laughs> um, legendary coach of uh, University of Indiana. Here's some little kids. You're not going to see them, but they're out yeah, selling 25-cent lemonade. Yeah. Sorry, we only work with credit cards, yeah, They're kids. probably whining now because we didn't oh, stop. Oh, we didn't stop. Uh, number two, number one for you. Uh, number one for me is almost every soccer player who takes a dive. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it's so, yeah, just so uh, disingenuous. Just, if you want to have fun, go on YouTube and type in famous soccer dives. And you will be amazed oh, the at faces the they theatrics oh. these guys do. And then, and then the amount of time that they spend reeling and rolling on the grass when they haven't even been touched. And it's cheating. It's deceptive. It yeah. It's, it's just ethically wrong to try because there's one referee well there's three but the linesmen they don't see everything either but to just make a meal out of ah, yeah. ah, <laughs> you know what I love now is and for years they've actually you can actually get a penalty you know you can get a, a red or a yellow card for excessive fakery <laughs> uh, for, and for taking a dive they actually make the symbol of a guy diving and they'll give you a card or a penalty um they also, now in the World Cup, which is happening right now as we record this, they have video review. So if it just looks like a really fake, bad thing, they can go back and say, this guy was lying, yeah. it's not real, etc. My number one is, um, what did I say, my number one guy? John McEnroe. Oh, gosh. Johnny yeah. Mac. I mean, he's just a legend. You know, enough yeah. said yeah. in terms of whining, in terms of a hothead. It made tennis fun to watch, if only to guess how out of control he was going to get. I can't feel more sorry for the guy, the umpire, who would have to sit uh, in the chair before every. Oh my gosh, I've got a. I got Jay I've Mac. got a ump. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this idiot. But anyway. having said that, you know he seems to have fixed things and yeah. uh, he's happy now. Yeah. But I doubt a guy like that is really, really happy because at the end of the day. You just want to be able to sleep peacefully. And if you know, and most adults know, if you've been a whining, hot-headed jerk to people, that's not that's not restful sleep. You yeah. know what I mean? It makes you unhappy, and it certainly makes others unhappy. Yeah, so if you want to be happy, eliminate the complaining, eliminate the yelling and the being of a jerk, and recognize that there isn't a single person on the planet who's exempt from some sort of challenge or trial or difficulty for which they could be complaining. 
but many of them are not. Well, we certainly hope that you've been enjoying this uh, little trip down uh, angry, whiny lane. Phew. We had fun out driving yeah. and talking about it. Yeah. If you have any comments about uh, today's topic, mainly being a jerk, uh, please leave them in the comments section provided below. And by all means, like it and subscribe, and we'll be back for more episodes. Love you.